Assignment Submitted work As a teacher, you can have your learners submit work through your Moodle course. This saves on paper and it's better than email because when they submit, you'll see a list of your class only on your Moodle course, not cluttered up with emails from colleagues and organisations. What they submit can be uploaded files or text written directly on Moodle. If we look at this example of an assignment, because you can type your instructions into Moodle's text editor, it doesn't only have to be text. You can add links, images or videos relevant to your assignment. And an assignment may be for one individual or it may be for a group. And as a teacher, you can choose whether or not to see the identities of your learners as you are grading it. To add an assignment, we enable Edit Mode top right and either click Add an activity or resource at the bottom of a section or anywhere on the course page between activities. Assignment is an activity because learners interact with it. Click once to go straight to the setup page or click the I for more information and then the Add button bottom right. Because assignment is so powerful, it has many different options. We're only going to look at a few in this video. The name is important because this is what the learners will see on the course page and then you can add a short description which you can optionally display on the course page by ticking the box. In activity instructions, you add what you want them to do for the assignment. You can, if you like, give your instructions in audio or video form by clicking the audio or video icons and your learners can also submit like that too. If you want to include images or links, you click the appropriate icons. You can also upload additional support documents for them if needed. You can choose when you want them to send in their work with due dates or a cut-off date and you can also set yourself a reminder when to grade by. In this Moodle site, the administrator has enabled timed assignments. This means the teacher can set a time limit on the assignment, but note that learners can still submit after the time limit, but this is mentioned in their submission. Now we decide the submission type. In other words, if you want them to upload one or several files, you make sure that file submission is ticked, and you can choose the number of files you want and can specify a type of file you want them to upload. Alternatively, select online text and they can type directly into Moodle, with a word limit if desired. This is enough to set up the assignment, but let's explore some other settings. Click the question mark help icon against any if you need more information. In feedback types, setting comment in line will allow you to type directly on the learner's work just as you would when grading on paper. In submission settings, you can decide if you want them to accept an agreement that their work is their own. In group submission settings, you can get them to work and submit as a group. And in notifications, we can choose whether or not to be messaged when students submit and also whether or not by default students will be messaged when we've graded their work. If we click Grade, we can see that it's possible to choose a number out of which the assignment can be graded, and it's also possible to create our own scales, which we look at briefly in another video about the gradebook. Anonymous submissions can initially hide the identity of your learners when you're grading them. And marking workflow and allocation are useful when sharing the course with other teachers to divide up, moderate and monitor the progress of grading. In activity completion, if we want to track that students have accessed the assignment, do we want them to manually click to confirm they've seen it? Or do we want it automatically marked complete when they've simply viewed it or submitted or received a grade or a passing grade? To alert course participants that an assignment has been added or updated, click Send Content Change Notification. And now we can save and return to course and our assignment is ready for our students to submit.